Alright guys, tutorial number 30, and in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing up this date pecker program. Well, not the whole thing, but you know the first part, so good enough. So let's go ahead and, well, might as well go ahead while we're in here and grab this from the interface, because we're going to need that tidbit later. Now go over in your implementation file, and of course, I didn't delete all these comments before, like I should have. What a noob. Alright, get rid of those. Implementation day pair. Good to go, good to go. Get rid of these. Nah, we'll leave those in there. I mean, why to H not? Alright, so what we want to do first is we want to synthesize day pecker. So under implementation, go sin and then go right. And then date pecker. And this will give us our date pecker object. And we need this to, first of all, paste that to access all the stuff from the date pecker. So now what we want to do is we want to grab the date from that picker. So ns date and store it in like a object called choice or something and set this equal to again remember our date picker object is our outlet to our date picker. So it's pretty much is the date picker and in order to grab a date from it in order to grab pretty much whatever you selected just go ahead and the method is date and this will return the date and time that you selected pretty cool huh so that date is stored in the variable called choice but the thing is whenever we use an alert box we can't output a date it doesn't know how to do that it only knows how to output a string or text so what we need to do is take this date and convert it to a string alright we can do that ns string and just go ahead and We'll put like words or something. Ugh. Ugh. I just got like a sick taste in my mouth. It was gross. All right. Now let's go ahead and ns string allocate some space for our new object. In it with format. And the format for this is just put at percent a nothing fancy. I mean you can put like this is date if you want. Might as well. Why the heck not? I already just typed it in. And choice choice alright so what this does is pretty much is it takes that choice date it pretty much takes the date and prints it out in a string format this is date easy enough so now what we need to do is once we converted that date to a string just show it in an alert box so UI alert view uh, just go ahead and name this alert and then go ahead and of course it needs to be its own object UI alert view allocate some space with it in it with title and just put the title like the title and actually let me do this so you can guys can all see it for the message go ahead and put whatever your string is words for the delegate really you have to go all the way over there uh, just put nil for the cancel button title yeah I knew you were gonna do that for the cancel button title there we go uh, this is what do you want when you want to exit the alert and just put like close or exit or something and other button titles we don't have any other buttons so just go ahead and set this equal to nil and that's about it so all of this was pretty much I thought I put a semicolon really I put a semicolon and it jumps all the way over there code this dumb thing and all this is pretty much making an alert box so once we made an alert box you have to show on the screen alert show and once we're uh, done showing it I mean we're pretty much done with it so take that object and release it and of course remember we allocated this words so we need to release this to words release and you're saying alright what about this object the state object look did we allocate anything for it? Nope. NS date takes care of that, so we don't need to release that. Alright. So in this button we pretty much wrote what method do you want to do when you press that button? Well first we want to get whatever date you selected, uh convert it to text, show it in an alert box, and then just housekeeping stuff right here. But are we done yet? Nope, but we almost are. I mean close enough. So actually in your view did unload, get rid of these just because I don't like them. What you want to do is self dot date pecker and set this outlet to nil because we don't need it anymore and of course super view did unload good this is just all housekeeping stuff one more teeny bitty thing uh, when you deallocate void 
delegate. Whoa, where did all my... Alright, that was a little delayed, but anyways. Date Pecker, uh, release our object when we don't need it anymore. Oh, again, housekeeping stuff, gotta be, uh, gotta take care of our computer's memory. Alright, so we are looking good right here. Let's go ahead and build and run it and fix our errors. Oh, I don't have any errors. How cool. Alright, so this is our program right here. It automatically uh, selects the date currently, but say we want to select another one for some reason. Uh, Friday 25th, that's what where I want to be. Uh, this time, this time, press me, and this is delayed, and my thing just froze. I don't know why it freezes so much, but anyways. The title right here, here's our string, this is, and again, here's that exit button I was talking about, what's called a cancel button title, close. So go ahead, select another date, you can do this all day, guys. Another alert pops up, close, and that's that. So you see, this is the date view. We didn't build anything for the single, double, or dependent, custom. All we built is this one view right here. So, you know, I hope you enjoy it because that's all you got so far. In the next tutorials, we'll be building these other ones. But, you know, I got a feeling already that I'm going to stop halfway through and, you know, probably just talk about something else. But, anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions or need the code. Click on the link below, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.